Oi guys, it's Danny here today, bring you like, a lovely video. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the derivative of x to the power of x to the power of x. What's that equal to? So before we begin, please drop a like and subscribe, and I'll show you lot how to solve this very abstract looking problem in a few easy steps. Right, so the first step that you lot are going to need to do is we, we know that f of x is equal to x to the power of x to the power of x. The, the idea here, the plan which we will be applying is that we are going to be taking implicit differentiation along with logarithmics. We're going to be using logarithmics and implicit differentiation to solve this derivative and it's the quickest and easiest way to do it. So that's how we're going to proceed. So in that case, if we take f of x is equal to x to the power of x to the power of x, we basically could solve it by applying the laws of logarithmics on both sides basically taking a loan and when you do that we're trying to solve for that you know the derivative of x of, of f of x right so let's basically apply to this equation this one right here logarithmics so we're going to take a loan on both sides when we do that which we can what we could do is since the you know we got an exponent of x to the power of x we can move it as a multiplication and that's what I did here. We can move it in the front of the loan. So when we do that, we can basically then take the derivative. And it just makes it a lot easier to solve. And you'll see why in a moment. So we're going to be taking the derivative of the left-hand side and of the right-hand side. So we'll start on the left-hand side because it's a lot way easier. And you're taking the derivative of loan f of x. Keep in mind, f of x is basically a function that represents x to the power of x to the power of x. It's got an x term in it. That's the point here I want you lot to realize. So you take the derivative of ln. The derivative of ln usually is 1 over something multiplied by whatever's inside that something. So uh, basically, it's basically 1 over the f of x function. In this case, it's f of x, right? Let's say if here was just an x, you would have 1 divided by x times the derivative of what's of the of the function basically so if it was x the derivative of x would be one in this case the derivative of f of x is the derivative of f of x so we're going to write it in this notation right so this here is the result on the left hand side the right hand side's a bit more trickier there's more steps to it so we're going to get into it so we're going to take the derivative of this notice this here is basically going to call for a product rule so this is the product rule and we are basically going to apply because we have an f of x function multiplied with a lot of x function. Therefore, there's two functions being multiplied and they both contain an x term. Therefore, product rule. So the derivative of x to the power of x. Now, here, this is, this is the tricky part. To solve this type of derivative, we're going to basically, uh, we're going to find a new working station. We're going to put it right here. And we're going to basically take a derivative of this. And the way we do it, and this is a trick you need to apply to take the derivative of x to the power of x, is we need to basically write it in terms of e and in terms of ln. When you do that, you can. these are equivalent expressions because e to the, to the power of ln of whatever value is going to cancel out. So these are equivalent. And we're going to write it in this form because... When we do it, we can then use the laws of logarithmics again and move this x term from the exponent into a multiplication in front of the loan. That's the trick over here. So when we rewrite it, it's very easy to take the derivative. It's basically just going to be the same thing and then the derivative of the, the exponent. And what's the derivative of x ln of x? Well, that calls for another product rule. Because you've got x multiplied with ln of x, you take the derivative of the x term, multiply with ln x, not, you don't take the derivative of ln x, ln x, you add it with x, and then you take the derivative of ln x. So once you have done that, you basically end up with ln x plus 1. So this here is the derivative of x ln of x. So we're going to rewrite the, the results. So you have e to the power of x ln of x times ln of x plus 1. So this here, uh, it should have been written with brackets. So I didn't write it with brackets, but think of it. This should be bracket, bracket, open bracket here and close bracket. Therefore, this is the result. Uh, the only thing here, what I did is basically this e to the power of x term you see over here. I basically moved this x into the exponent form. 
you know, according to the laws of logarithmics. And when you do that, this here, e to the power of log, that's going to cancel out. So really what you're left with is e to the power of x, open bracket, log of x plus 1. So this here is the result of the derivative of x to the power of x. We're going to take this and we're going to substitute it in this equation before you. So let's do that. So let's solve this equation. So the derivative of x to the power of x is what I mentioned before. You're going to multiply with ln of x plus x to the power of x. And the derivative of ln of x is just 1 divided by x. And that's basically the answer. So, we are not done yet because they're asking you to take the derivative. What is the derivative? So, what we have is we are going to introduce back our left-hand side of the equation, or the result of the derivative of the left-hand side, which is this. So, we are trying to solve for what exactly? The derivative of f of x. We have it over here. We just need to isolate for it. So we're going to basically multiply f of x on both sides of this equation. So it's going to basically be eliminated over here, just leaving us with the derivative of f of x. And over here, we're going to have f of x being multiplied in. So really what we have is the derivative of f of, sorry, the derivative of x to the power of x to the power of x is actually equal to this. So that's the answer to this problem. So if you lot enjoyed this video, please drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you a lot later.